Ooh, that's a nice shot. Ready? Go. Ooh, okay. That's a nice line shot. Top spin in the corner. Hey everybody, I'm Coach Chijo. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I trained a 12 year old on how to hit on the right side or sometimes they're called the opposite hitter. She is a right-handed hitter and I'm gonna show you as we go through four different levels of training. It's gonna start out where we train her on how to open up. So we open up her shoulders. It's an exercise you can do at home. The second level is she's gonna do a shuffle down ball. There's no jump involved, but I'm trying to get her to get facing the right direction when you hit on the right side. And then the third level is as she comes in for the shuffle, we're gonna add a little hop to it. So now she's hitting off the floor or in the air. And then the fourth and final level is she'll progress to the full spike approach. Now, there are five keys in this video. They're all very important, but I would say the first key is the most critical one. As a right-handed hitter, hitting on the right side or as an opposite hitter, it's very critical that the hitter come in on the spike approach facing the right antenna. That will allow the elbow to come back, the shoulders open up, and then that will allow the right-handed hitter to be able to hit the line shot and the cross shot. As you watch this video, and if it's helping you take your volleyball to the next level, I would be very thankful if you could please subscribe to our channel so we can reach more people and help more people take their volleyball to the next level. Thank you. So let's make sure that we cover all the fundamentals, okay? So do you remember the thing where you go on your left knee up and make sure your, your right foot is up against the wall? Yep, I would recommend that you do this at home because you don't need a ball and you just need your wall. I, I need to make sure that when you hit, okay, if I'm hitting that way, mm -hmm. that you're opening up with your elbow back fully and then rotating forward to hit. Remember, right-handed, right knee up. And then this hand has to be above this knee pad, okay? That way, this is the signal to show you this is where you have to do the snap, which is out in front, okay? okay? You don't want your hand here because then you're gonna hit the bottom of the ball and you're gonna hit a rainbow. So this has to be in line with your knee pad. Do you feel yourself twisting to the right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you have to get used to. It's like stretching, right? The more you do this, the more easily you'll do this when you're hitting. And that's why you just need to keep doing this, okay? Go ahead and rotate forward and make sure that you snap right here, mm -hmm. okay? Right where that left hand was and then swing through, okay? Show me the shuffle footwork. Get your left arm up, yep. As you come in, I want you to come in open and facing the right antenna. So again, you're hiding your elbow from the defense over there. Okay, so shuffle in. Yep, so the ball is gonna be about here. So you're gonna have to make sure your left arm is up. And remember like on the wall, your arm was a little bit, your hand was not straight above you, but out in front of you a little bit. So this is your, gauge or your ruler okay you gotta get to the ball with where the fingertips are okay so arm up again got it okay so now i'm gonna toss you a ball okay i'm gonna have you try to hit towards your mom okay so you're gonna come in again when she sees you coming in shuffling she should not see your elbow if she sees it that's not good so you should be here and then i'm going to have you close and it's going to be smooth this is not power it's just smooth like that here we go smooth you're there the ball's here you're going to have to move your feet and shuffle a little quicker it just generates a little bit more power and momentum get to the ball there we go speed shuffle speed shuffle if the ball goes into the net that means the ball was too far out so your hand was maybe like this so it should be about here so make sure you keep this left arm up because this is going to help you keep going until your fingers are underneath the ball so keep moving your feet there we go Okay, now the ball's going over, so that's good. So you're getting to the ball. Now, to make sure that it goes into the court, your next key to remember is snap. So snap, and you're gonna check after you hit it, see if it's got top spin on it. Get to the ball, and then snap. 
Good. Does it have top spin on it? A little bit. Okay. Can you give it a little bit more top spin, you think? Here we go. There. Oh, that is the hit we want. Most hitters on the right side, right-handed hitters, don't hit line. They, they don't know how. If you can nail that shot, we're going to get points. Get under. Top spin. Oh. That shot right there, that's called hitting line. Okay, I'm gonna have you go to the next level, okay? So you got the shuffle coming in at the end of the shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Now add a hop to it. So now you're off the floor and then that's gonna give you even just a little bit more oomph and power into your hit. Make sure you snap though. Here we go. That's pretty good, huh? Make sure you hop at the end. It's right in the corner. I'm going to toss. When the ball leaves my fingers, then you have your left timing step down to where you think the set is going to go. Then you wait until the ball hits the peak. Boom. Now right left. And you should be facing that right antenna. And then you're going to come up and you're going to look just like you were when you were doing the shuffle hop. So I'll be over here. I'm going to say ready when I release it. That's your left timing step. And then I'm going to say go when the ball hits the peak. That's when you're going to go last two steps, right, left. Ready, go. Okay, so this is a little bit hard because you're, you're wanting to see this ball that's over here. So you're kind of turning your whole body to look. You have to avoid that. You want to make sure you come in here facing the antenna and you have to look for the ball over your shoulder a little bit. Okay, you have to do that. Because remember, you're trying to hide your elbow from the defense. Ready, go. Make sure when you land, you should be landing here, looking there and then up. Ready, go. Yeah, that's how you're going to be able to hit that line shot. That time you came in straight, so remember, come in, turn, turn to the right, mm -hmm. hide the elbow from the defense so that you're open, just like you did on the wall. Okay, so go ahead and stand right here. Okay, elbow back, left arm up. The wall's right here now. Mm -hmm. Got it? The wall is here. This is where you have to set up just like you did one on the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, show me the reach up and snap got it okay so your rhythm on your feet should be left right left left right left okay can you show me left right left yeah like that ready go okay so now you're going back to a little bit of a hop you're doing a little hop like this so instead one two three got it the right left should be separate sound on the floor ready go there, now it's happening. Make sure you wait until I say go. Because if you don't and you just take off and then you're going to be here early, the ball is not ready for you to hit. And then you, now you're stopped. And now you're just going to do a hit from a little bit of a hop. So all this momentum that we built up is not going to get used. That's why you got to wait and then do the whole thing at the end. Ready, go. All right, so now balls are going over the net. So the next key that you need to pay attention to is as you land, I need you to bend your knees like a spring that you squash and then you let go of the spring and it pops up. So you're going to squash down the springs and then you're going to pop up with that left hand. Ready, go, bend. There we go. So remember, you got that spring that you're squashing, okay? So imagine, do the spring thing with me, like squash. Yeah, and then popping up. Yeah, like that. Ooh, that's a nice shot. There we go. Ready, go. Ooh, okay. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can get three more with some good top spin on it. Okay? okay? It just has to be in the court, but after we hit, after you hit, I want to see this, more top spin. That means you have to do what with your wrist? Um, snap. Yeah, you have to snap. That's good top spin, line shot. That's a nice line shot, top spin in the corner. No one's going to dig that. Good? <laughs>